Hi, everyone. So I'm your instructor for this chapter. My name is Nabila Ahmad. And I'm going to teach or I'm going to explain about chapter one, um, the subtopic 1.2, which is definition, scope and subject matter of environmental economics. So let's look at uh, the definition of environmental economics. Environmental economics is a field of economic study that deals with the impacts of economic activities on the natural environment. So any economic activities that involve environmental or any natural environment that is can be considered as en uh, environmental economics. And it concerned with the existence of externalities or residuals. Yeah. So what is externalities or residuals? It is the byproduct of economic activities. Yeah, anything that come out or any um, anything that um, the extra or the residuals that um, come out or exist due to the economic activities that is known as externalities, or we can call it as environmental. Uh, for example, environmental pollution. Um, given that pollution, it will damage the ecosystems and our life, and it is essential to understand how economic activities affect our natural environment, so we can reduce the negative impact of the economic activities. Right? Um, so what is natural resource economics? It's a branch of economic study that deals with the use of natural resources for economic activities. So when we talk about um, environmental economics, then we need to know the natural resource economics, right? And then uh, scope of environmental economics, yeah, we have, it is just the same like the economics, right? So we have uh, two types of scope, positive economics and normative economics. And for positive economic, it's the analysis of economic based on facts and objective data analysis of facts that can be verified. And the statement is what is. Yeah, it is can be argued objectively using facts. So anything that can be argued is known as um, uh, uh, positive economics. OK, uh, for example, uh, causes and effects are positive in nature. Yeah, for example, it is the fact that the temperature of the Earth is rising, leading to the problem of global warming. Right. So we have uh, the fact and we have the data in order to prove that yes, the temperature of the Earth is rising um, persistently, right? And then what is normative economics? Yeah, it is the analysis of economics that is subjective in nature and involve opinions and value judgment. Yeah, so it is the statement involved is what should be. Okay, so meaning that we can give our opinion or we can uh, we can uh, based on value judgment to explain the economics, right? Um, for example, people may disagree on what is the best way to tackle the global warming issue. Yeah, so maybe some some people say that okay, so we can use carbon tax or we can use um, simply pollution tax and so on and so forth. Right, so we have a different argument and we have different opinions about that. And then it also involves microeconomics and also macroeconomics. Yeah, microeconomics. Yeah, yes, we know that it's the study of economy in individual units. Yes, specific and very detailed. Yeah, for example, if environmental economics dealing with microeconomics, yeah, it is the problem of thick chemical industrial pollution in Pasigudang uh, affects school children in the nearby areas can be solved by micro level of planning. Okay, for example, um, implement stricter regulation on land use and the flow of hazardous waste in the area of Pasigudang. Um, on the other hand, for macroeconomics, it's the study of economy as a whole in a bigger scope or bigger perspective. Yeah, when environmental issue is a national or global issue, such as the issue of global warming, so that results in unpredictable weather and rising temperatures. So this is uh, actually uh, anything that deals with the global issue and so on. So that is actually macroeconomics. Right, so that's all for this uh, topic, yeah, 1.2. Then we can move to the next part. Thank you so much.